Hi everyone, in the last video we went ahead and created our login and logout functionality. Now in this video we're going to go ahead and fetch a list of recipes to display them on our front end. So right now I'm at our home page when we are logged in, so I can also log out and log in again. So when I provide a username who is signed up and their password, and I log in, we see that we can now redirect successfully to a list of recipes. Now in this video, we are going to be able to fetch the recipe resources from our API. When I go to our API right here, when I go to the getting all recipes route, so I can execute, and this is going to return a, recipe, a, a list of recipes. So in this case, we do not require an access token to access that route. So let's go ahead and just do that on our front end. I'm going to go to our React code, and within our React home, I'm going to go to our home.js. Now, I'm going to use the use effect hook so as to be able to show these recipes on our front end every time we render the home page. I'm going to import use state React, I mean use effect, I'm going to be effect hook. After importing this effect, I'm going to come within the login home component. Within the logged in home component, what I can do is to set a recipe so I can actually also use use state. Use state, and now I'll create a list of recipes. I mean, say equals use, use state, and then I'll initialize the initial state of our recipes to an empty list of recipes. Now, what I'll do is to come right in here and then say uh, recipes. And then the setup data function, which is set recipes. And then this is going to be uh, an empty list for now. So I'm going to use use effect to fetch our API resources and then set the state of our recipes to those API resources. What I'll do is just come right in here and I'll say use effect. So I use effect hook uh, takes in a function that uh, basically makes us do something on rendering this component. So what I'm going to do is to say use effect and then right in here I'll put a function just like you can see the effect and then uh, the React the React dependency list. So in this case we need to provide the dependency list as an empty list for now. So within this I'm just going to call fetch and now what you're going to fetch is the is the Route that's going to return all the recipes. So when I go back to our backend, right in here, the route is slash recipe slash recipes. So I need to go back to our code, and then I'm going to fetch slash recipe slash recipes. And here we do not require any request option since we are carrying out a get request that does not require us to have an access token. So I'll just come and and then say dot then just return the response and then the response as JSON. After returning this response as JSON, we shall also need to access that data. So in this case, what I'm going to do is to just say the end data. What we shall do simply is to console log our data. After doing this, I'll also catch any errors. So I'll say dot catch. And if we have any errors, we shall simply console log, console log the errors. So after doing this, I'm going to save, and when you return back to our client, so when I go back to our client, I react up, and then I inspect element. So we go to our console. We see that we have been able to fetch a, an array of recipes. So when I maximize this, we see that our recipe resources are coming from our backend, our API, and they are being console log in our console. So let's go ahead and display this on our front end. I need to pause this and head over to our Visual Studio code. And now on our Visual Studio code, what we shall do is to set the data we have got as an array to be the list of recipes. So just like you can see right here, we have our recipes and then the state updater function for recipes that initializes the state of our recipes to an empty an empty list. However, when you want to update uh, the state of the recipes, you can now set the recipes to that array of data that comes from my API. So let's go ahead and do this. What I'm going to do is to provide this, these curly braces so that we can be able to carry out multiple things within this function. So I'll just come right in here and say set 
In this case, I'll say set recipes, and then what I'll do is to just set them to the array of data we've got from my API. So after doing this, uh, what you're going to do is to map uh, all the recipes to uh, to a specific component in this case. So we can create a component that basically will take in uh, most of the properties that a recipe is going to have. For example, if we go to our Chrome, and then you go and see our array of recipes right here. So I'll go to the console. And then within our console, we see that each recipe has a title, an ID, uh, and a description. So if I go right in here, I can create uh, our recipe component. So I can just come right in here and then say, I can actually uh, create it separate. So I can come within our components here. And then I can say, actually, let me first close this. So I'll come within our components, then create a new file. Call this file uh, recipe.js. Within recipes.js, I'm going to import that, that, and then I'm going to create that simple component. So I'll say cost recipe is going to be equal to a component. So in this case, we're going to have a function based component that's going to return some JSX. So let's just do it for now. So I'm going to give this props. So I'm going to give it props, for example. And then the description. So after doing this, I can come just right in here and then I create a just just create a div with a class name. So I'll just call this class name of recipe. After doing this, what I can do is to provide a simple h3 tag. And within here, what you can say is this is going to hold our title. Then we put our paragraph. So this is going to be our paragraph, and then it's going to have our description. So after doing this, what I'll do is to just export this to make it available in other files. So I'll just come and say export default. Then this is going to be recipe. So now after doing this, this is accessible. Uh, in other files. So when I save, I can go to home.js and then what I'll do is to say uh, what recipe, so I'm going to import recipe from this file with slash recipe, which is in the same folder. And then when I come in here, what I'll do is to just map all recipe resources and then be able to uh, render a recipe with the different props. So to do that, I'm simply going to come and map each of our recipe resources onto our recipe component. Now, just like you saw here, I created this recipe component and what I did was to give it props. These props are going to be uh, provided with state uh, in the home component, in the home component, just like you can see. So what I'll do is to just come and set recipes, what map. And when I map these recipes, what I'll do is to provide a callback function that's going to return every recipe. So what I'll do is to just simply return every recipe here. What I'll do is to just provide recipe. So I'll do is to provide a recipe and then the title of each recipe is going to be equal to, uh, so in this case, we need to provide a recipe. So what I'll do in this callback function, I'll provide a recipe. Now in this case, we can have a title being equal to title and a description being equal to, uh, actually this will be the recipe title. So I'll say recipe title. And then in this case, I'll say recipe dot description. Now let me close this. So when I save, Go back to our home component and now we see that our recipe data is being shown on our front end.